Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this mobile tutorial. So, um, last time we actually got our camera working with the swiping mechanic. This time we are going to create a boost button. So, it's going to give us a slight boost and uh, just give some speed to our ball instantly. Alright, so let's go ahead and we are going to open up the motor script. And inside of here, we are going to declare some fields that we're going to use for that very boost mechanic. So, so let's go ahead and do that. The first one is going to be a public float boost speed. Now you can, you can be putting that on private, but I'll leave it on public so I can actually adjust it in the inspector. So uh, let's start off with five. So five sounds great. And after that, we're going to do a, another uh, public float that we'll call boost cooldown. This is going to be, say, two seconds. And finally, a private float that we'll call last boost. This one is going to keep track of the time, basically. So let's go ahead and in our start, take the last boost and say last boost is equal to time dot time minus boost cooldown. Now this way, um, we're going to set this to available when the game starts. Else, if we wouldn't have done that, um, last boost would have been set to 0.0, .0 and then uh, for the first two seconds of our game, our ability would be on cooldown, so uh, I'm getting rid of that little bug already by just putting that in here. Okay, now I want to be able to call my boost using a button, so a really big button over here in my screen, so bottom right. Let's go ahead and uh, create that said button, so just for the sake of making it easy, I'll simply duplicate the pause button. So this guy over here, I'll just duplicate him, name it boost button and I'd like I'd like to have a circle instead but we'll fix that later on when we do the uh, the art so now my boost button I'll go ahead and anchor it down here holding shift same thing now position is going to be equal to zero zero and the width say 150 by 150 all right now maybe change the text for boost this is temporary of course and uh, maybe the button color for something else, so maybe uh, orange, why not? Okay, so our boost button right now, it toggles the, uh, the pause menu. Let's go ahead and change that. So down here on the unclick event, we need to be able to put a public function in here. So we'll go ahead and actually create that public function first. Back in our motor class, we are going to go down here and create a public void that we'll call a boost. Now, um, this is really simple actually because we're using a rigid body and all we have to do is give some kind of force, some physic force to our object. So uh, all we have to do is say controller dot add force and then we're going to add the current velocity he, he, he has right now. So he's going to take the speed he already has and the direction he already has and just increment it. So let's go ahead and say um, controller dot velocity and we're gonna normalize it and then once it's normalized this is now a vector of length one we're going to say times boost speed now it also takes another parameter if you press on uh, the coma you can you can add a force mode and that's what we're gonna do so we get the instant um, velocity change we're gonna say force mode dot Velocity change or impulse. Uh, let's see which one is better. Let's start with velocity change and if it doesn't do the job, we'll move back to impulse. Now back here on the UI, we are going to go here in the onclick event, choose the player from the list or simply drag and drop the player right inside of this field. And now we should have access to all of its components. So game object, transform, mesh filter, all that kind of good stuff. But the motor as well. So in motor, we have a public function called boost. Let's choose this one. Let's hit play and see what we get in the game. So I'm actually just moving normally using my arrow keys and I'm gonna hit boost. And as you can see we get that really slight boost so it's nothing too impressive but it's going to be really useful for um, future mechanics where we can actually de demolish wall by you know uh, entering in contact with wall, if we go fast enough, then it's going to break the wall. That kind of stuff we can do a little bit later on, of course. 
but um, right now this is unlimited so let's go ahead and just put a cap on this so we cannot simply spam the button in the boost function I am going to say if time dot time minus last boost is bigger than the boost cooldown then we're gonna go ahead and uh, add our force if it's not we're simply just going to exit this and nothing is going to happen and that's a little bit messed up okay cool so just like this now that's uh, that's actually pretty much it that's the, the really simple boost mechanic we just did and uh, to test it out let's go ahead and just change our scene a little bit let's have some fun and um, create some kind of jump pad or something of the sort so I'll just go ahead and reduce the size of my level so something like that why not or maybe like this then add some cubes who knows move it here scale it up rotate it just like this and maybe another one with a more steep angle and let's try to actually create a landing over here no let's try without a boost yeah that's obviously not going to work now let's try with the boost that's also not going to work let's actually um, increase the boost speed so I'm just going to select my player oh, I don't want him to fall I'll just select my player change the boost speed for say 10 10 sounds great and there we go so <laughs> that's a really simple mechanic but it can get quite fun depending on your level design guys so that's going to be pretty much it for this episode already and uh, if you learned something or if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and leave me a like I really appreciate it and if you have any question or comment you can always leave them in the comment section below I'll try to answer as soon as possible guys so for more tutorial like this go ahead and subscribe and that's going to be pretty much it so again thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode